Okay guys, where are we? Emerald. And what are we doing? No idea. Good morning everybody. You will know if you watched our last video, we have finished up here in Longreach and we are now taking the 12 hour trip from Longreach back to the coast of Queensland. We're excited to get on our way, but we thought we'd take you guys along for the ride. We are gonna take a couple of days to do it because we don't wanna go over about four and a half hours each day. And today we're off to Emerald. So we're gonna take you and show you all of the places we stop along the way. is what they call the tree of knowledge and you've got to check her out because they've done this amazing structure around this tree that has been here for over a hundred years and it died in 2006 and they have done a structure around her to protect her but they call her the silent witness to a lot of events that happened throughout you know, 100 years ago in the area. I'm not sure it was 100 years ago. Before. 1891. Holy shit. Yeah, wow. so in 1891, the um, farmers out here went on a strike. I think it was the, the shearers. shearers went on a strike and they actually did the strike right under this tree. And depending on where you stand, maybe you could thank it for the Labour Party or yeah. maybe you could curse it. That's really up yeah. to you and your so opinion. It's yeah, so exactly where the Labour Party was formed. So, a little bit of Australian history, but if you're not into history, it's well worth the stop anyway, because what they've created here is pretty spectacular. It's very cool. It's a it's a little town that's on a T intersection between Longreach, Emerald, and then south of here yeah. is, um, Black sorry, Orb. Black Orb, but Black yeah. Orb's tiny into Toowoomba. So it's kind of like a massive junction where you've got four pubs and that's almost about it. <laughs> But but a little park, so it's a great place yeah. to stop yeah. and it is. And, have the, a snack. and the, the really cool thing is that along the park is a whole heap of instruments that they've made for the kids to play with. So we just found our way to Jericho and the reason we decided to stop, it is just a small town of 115 people, but it is home to Australia's smallest drive-in theatre. You guys have to check this out. Look at it. It's so cute. It literally has space for about 20 cars. They just drive onto the grass here, park, and that's your screen at the front. Okay guys, apart from the drive-in theatre, and a few small buildings, that's it for Jericho. So let's move on to the next town and I think that is Alpha. So we stopped off in Alpha for a few snacks and a lunch break. It's a great place to stop as it's halfway between Longreach and Emerald, but we've got about a two hour drive and we're just gonna power through to Emerald. And what are we doing? No idea. I have a surprise. Okay, so I found out Emerald has this really quirky thing that I thought was really interesting and I thought I'd keep it a surprise. So come with me and we're gonna go look at it. Come on this way. Okay guys, can you see what it is? It's a big Van Gogh. It's a big Van Gogh. Prior to Emerald being 
populated like it is today, it was actually a massive sunflower field. Oh really? Oh, so cool. they've replaced all the sunflowers with a replica of the painting. Okay, so we finally found ourselves a place to stay for the night in Emeralds. We are at a place called Route 66 Motor Inn. It's just on the main road and they it, are clearly very much displaced because we are not on Route 66. We are not. We are not even in the USA. We so. are not. But it did make us feel a little bit like we were doing the American road trip we wanted to do. <laughs> so we decided to stay here for the night. It cost us 160 for each room and the room sleeps. It can sleep up to five, I think. So it's pretty good price. It's really basic, but it's gonna be perfect for us for the night. So we are going to chill out here for the night and we'll get back on the road tomorrow. Good morning. It is another beautiful day. And today we are leaving the motel to head off to Rockhampton. So it's about a two and a half hour drive from Emerald to Rockhampton. And we're hoping to be there just after lunch. But first off is coffee time. So Always let's go get time. a coffee. from Sheffield Coffee Brewers. Um, I haven't tried it yet, it smells amazing. Uh, I met the guy who was working there, his name's Peter. I believe he's the owner. Um, they have two locations, they've been here for three years and we come across them because they were rated 4.7 on yeah. TripAdvisor, which is awesome. So we're pretty excited about it. You, you're not gonna get me to try mine yet because it's a no. lot No. Katie, have you tried yours? It's actually very good. I think you're gonna love it. The the part here that I find really interesting about their second shop is it's called Sensory by Sheffield. Um, that's it right there on the corner. And apparently, they serve Baskin and Robbins. What? Okay, if you're in Emerald and you want Baskin and Robbins. All good coffee by the sound of it. You need to come to the Sensory. Get yourself some ice cream and get yourself some coffee. Okay, so we made our way to a place called Bluff. I think it's called? It's Bluff. It's called Bluff. Where is she lying? I don't we know, is it a bluff? The it's only a really <laughs> it's only a really small town, but a great place to stop and have your halfway break, because I think we're about halfway. It does depend. If you want like shops, Blackwater is a better yeah. option. Yeah. Okay. So the boss is saying if you want shops, Blackwater is the better option. If you're happy, you've packed your lunch like a good girl, then bluff, bluff. is a good place to stop. So we have just arrived into Rockhampton and we've checked into the David Motel, which is a very basic motel in Rockhampton. We're gonna stay here for the night and then we're gonna keep on going with our trip. Hi guys, so we are here um, at the, I don't know what it's called. <laughs> what, are we, what are we gonna do though? Eat. We're going to have dinner. Eat so nothing. we, rested at the hotel for the afternoon and we have come down to a place called the Cretorian Hotel in Rockhampton and the reason we chose to come and have dinner here is Rockhampton is kind of known for its steak and when we searched to find out where the best places to come and eat this was on the top of the list so let's go and see what their steak is like. Okay, 
So we just got inside and we were lucky enough to get ourselves a table. I would suggest to book because of COVID at the moment, the restrictions are a little bit tough. Um, they can't take as many as they normally would. So make sure you book in advance, especially if you are a group the size of us. But we have just placed our order and I'm really excited because I seen food come out of the kitchen as I was placing my order and it looks so good. So now I'm just going to wait in anticipation. For what? What are you having? I'm having steak. Steak. I think most of the table got steak and ribs, pork ribs and beef ribs, I think. So it's going to be so good. Mel Pell, what did you get? I got the steak and chips. Steak and chips. That's a massive steak for So a were these girl. free? Is yeah. it right? Yeah, so They're because free in, in the school holidays. Yeah, we're here for school holidays. So the girls got a kids pack, which was like an activity pack, and a free meal. How cool is that? And I think there's actually another surprise coming a little bit later for them as well. So With a jus on the top. Yeah, so it's so. beef ribs, right? Yeah, that's what, that's why the size. Okay. That jus is amazing. So I've got to get a little bit of potato, a little bit of jus. Yeah, that's amazing. I don't have ribs very often. Like sometimes when you get them, they really fall apart, and these are close, but. The seasoning on this is amazing. Just it's called ribs. just ribs. So it was pork ribs. Pork ribs. And it came with salad and salad chips. Salad and chips. Okay. Yeah. Let's so, let's try. So this was a wet rub rib. That's oh, it falls off the Look bone. at that falling off. Oh look at that. It's really good. The top of a special barbecue sauce, it tastes so good. And it's, it's no, it's pulling apart, so it's 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 really good. So I got the 250 gram rum. They called it the small rum. And I got it done medium. I just want to add for a second, they call it the smaller rum. And then the other one is the popular rum. It yeah. seems like it might be a selling tactic. Yeah, I think so. Okay, I'm gonna put some gravy. All of the reviews said this gravy was the best gravy people have ever tasted. So I got the normal gravy. Mm. Oh my God. These char grill marks, they're not just painted on. The whole thing tastes like a barbecue. It's so good. It's so crunchy. Can you like hold it up so we can see the inside? Yeah. Is it cooked well see? from medium? Yeah. Oh wow. That's awesome. It's so good. And the little bit of fat on it is actually crunchy on the outside. So it kind of just melted in my mouth. So I thought I had lazy lizard syndrome the other day, but I just ate that steak so quickly that I'm feeling sick, but it was so good. But that's it for tonight. We're gonna go back to the hotel and crash for the night. But tomorrow is kind of an exciting day. So 
We found ourselves a really unique accommodation that we've kind of added into the itinerary randomly. And on the way, we're gonna go visit the Capricorn Caves. So I will check back in with you guys in the morning. Stay tuned because you do not want to miss this accommodation. It is the biggest park I have seen and it was probably one of my best experiences yet in all of our travels. It was actually really good and super cheap for what you get. It's really unique and I'm actually really jealous that we're not staying here but the place that I'm going to show you that we are staying in is just as spectacular. <laughs> 